Learn how to harvest honey on Heather's How To. Hi, I'm Heather. Beekeeping is a very rewarding hobby. It gets you outdoors, you learn about nature and the environment, and one of the best parts about beekeeping is harvesting the honey. Now you may not want to become a beekeeper yourself, but just knowing all the work it takes the honeybees to make the honey and the work it takes to harvest it may give you a greater appreciation of how it gets from the hive to your table. First thing to do is to go out to the hive and make sure that there is some honey to extract. Some capped honey is what you're looking for. And take it from the top two boxes, the two smaller ones on the top, those are supers. And those you can gather honey from. The Anything that's in the bottom boxes uh, should be left for the bees because that will carry them through the winter. And you can see today they're very, very active collecting pollen and nectar. And uh, this is the height of the season, so there should be some honey in there. Now I have all my protective gear on and I'm going to go into the hive with my first tool, the beekeeper's best friend, the smoker. Give them a little bit of smoke here just to kind of calm them down. Go under here and then I'm going to lift off the top and have a look inside. Okay, and what I'm looking for here in the hive is just what I have here. Capped honey. You can see that there's a layer of wax on the top of it and you know it's ready to take off. Put that back in the hive. And here is the bee escape. This will be placed just under the top super and the, the uh, hole in here makes it really easy for the bees to get out. But if you turn it over, there's a maze on the back and it's difficult for them to find their way back up. So what, you, so what I'll do is place it like this so it will be underneath the super. This way a lot of the bees will come out of the super so when it comes time to harvest the honey um, it, there won't be that many bees in the super and it will be easier for me to remove the frames. Now you can see that the bee escape is on just under the top super and now I'm going to wait a few days to make sure most of the bees are out and uh, go back into the hive and check on how many frames of honey there are to extract. Right, it's been a few days. I'm back outside at the hive and I brought my uncapping tub with me. Uh, any frames that have honey in them I will take off and put in this tub and bring them indoors to extract the honey. It's just much easier for me to extract them indoors because usually within a few minutes the bees know that you're out here with some honey and other insects usually follow and it'll just make it easier on me and I'm going to put everything in here and just bring it in. And now I'm going to take some more smoke, get a little cup here and open up the hive. Alright, it's looking good in here. I'm going to try to take off maybe four or five frames. Um, that's, that's a lot of work in itself, so I'm just going to do a little bit at a time and take these off, put them in the uncapping tub, and I do have some empty frames that have no honey in them right now, and I will replace any that I take out so the bees can start again and make some more honey. And now that I've taken off all the honey that I want, I'm going to remove the bee escape. Um, then I'll let the bees finish up their work and come back in a few weeks or so and see if there's any more capped honey to take off. Take that off. Put a little more smoke. And then just replace the other super back on top and let them get back to work. Okay, I've brought all of my honey frames inside now and they're in the uncapping tub and now I'm going to do just that, uncap the frames of honey. Each one has a layer of wax over it and what I have to do is take off that layer on each side of all the frames in order to extract the honey. And I'm going to take this knife, which is a heated knife, it plugs in and it makes it easier to uh, remove the wax capping and just go like that in a little saw-like motion all the way up each side of the frame. Okay, now continue to move the knife all the way up the frame to get off all the wax capping. Once your frames are all uncapped, you put them into this, the honey extractor. This is a big cylinder that uses centrifugal force to spit out all the honey, which runs down the sides of the tank through a filter and into the bottom where you can use the spigot to fill up your containers. And load the frames like this, four at a time into the extractor, close the cover, and spin the crank for about 45 seconds to a minute or so. Once that's done, take the frames out, flip the sides over, and do the same thing again. 
Now my extracting is done. The frames are much, much lighter now. I'm going to take them out of the extractor and put them in a small box and bring them out to the beehive. Now I've placed the box with the empty frames inside on top of the hive. The bees can't get in from the top, but they can get in through the bottom. And they'll go in and they'll clean out all the extra honey that's in the frames, leaving them nice and clean and dry, which will make it much easier for me to store them once they're ready. Okay, I've let the honey sit in the extractor for a little while to make sure all the honey drips down into the bottom area here. And now I'm going to do the second most fun part of honey harvesting, and that is the bottling. Just open up the spigot here, and out it pours beautiful golden fresh honey and from the frames that I extracted I'll probably get 8 to 10 pounds of honey from that which is a good amount and uh, once that's done we'll be doing the best part of honey harvesting and that is the tasting and now of course the best part enjoying the finished product take a little bit of spoonful here mm, delicious pure all natural great tasting you can enjoy it in a variety of things cup of tea you can cook with it put it on toast and if it ever crystallizes, you can put it in the microwave on a low heat to get rid of the crystals. Doesn't mean the honey is bad at all, and uh, you can enjoy it any time of the year. I'm Heather. Thanks for watching. Please visit kforgraphics.com for handmade gifts, artwork, and more.